Hey, so what is up? What's happening? Thank you so much for joining us yet again on Big D Cutting. We are Big D Concrete Cutting and today you're going to take a look with us on two jobs that we have going on. The first one is 100 square feet cut, pop, remove. Let's just get into that and then we'll get to our second job. So this first one, what we have going on here is very typical for us. We can do this job every single day of the week, in, out. We like to call them a hit and run because we go there, we get it done, and we get out of there. So what we have going on is Damien's going to be cutting. He's pretty much going to cut everything. Devin's working the shop vac. I'm just kind of in between filming, seeing what the guys need and doing whatever I got to do. Everybody's doing what they got to do. And let's just, let's just take a moment to appreciate, take, and watch and see how the cutting goes down. Then we'll get into removal, what we're doing after it comes out of the ground, and just keep it rolling. So once everything is cut, it's time to start pulling pieces and on a lot of jobs if we have two guys or even three guys, one guy can be cutting then somebody else can start removing and then going back and forth between the shop back and removal making sure the air stays nice and clean and then getting some of those pieces out of the hole or out of the slab or out of the ground. Now one thing that makes the pieces come out extra easy and not give us any problems is if those cuts are nice and square and straight. The line for the trench from one end to another are nice and straight everything parallel because if they're not parallel or if they're not straight or even if the cut going down is kind of coming out as you lift up the piece it's going to pinch with the side that's going to slow you down a whole bunch so that's one thing one reason why we try to make our cuts as neat and nice as possible and because it looks better for the customer as well
So that job went really smooth, really well. Everything was just fine. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out is as you notice, we had our mini excavator. We also had our dump trailer. We had our truck with all the equipment in it. That's just to show that we are a one-stop shop. We can do everything. We can take all the concrete away. That way our customer doesn't have to deal with it. We just come in, take the concrete, get out of there, and move on to the next one. Let's just get into it a little bit, and then we'll take a quick break, and I'll fill you in on what's going on. So I really like this job a whole bunch because we had two jobs in one. We could split up into two crews between the three guys. One crew was over there. I was over there working on the slab saw. Lonnie was using the handsaw at the lift station. Devin was back and forth on the shop vac. That way we got everybody moving, everybody working on, and we were able to get home at a decent time and everything looked good. Man, so another day knocked out another video in the books. Now before we end this off, I wanted to ask you if you could do us a huge favor. If you could like this video, share it with all your friends, put it on your Facebook. Speaking of Facebook, in the description down below, I'm going to put our link to our Facebook page as well. If you want some more Big D content throughout the week, we're putting pictures up there all the time of stuff that we're working on. Also this truck, this truck is about to be wrapped, so I'll update you guys on that because that's going to look really good. I cannot wait for that. And I cannot wait to see you on the next video. So like this video, comment, subscribe, share everything. Check out the Facebook. We'll see you on the next one. Keep it big D.